If you're in the market for a quality tripod, you've probably settled on Hama. Hama offers multiple models at an affordable price, and in this video I'll be comparing Hama Star 42 to Hama Star 61. Besides that, I also mentioned differences between Star 62 and Star 63 models. Let's start with the obvious. Star 42 comes in silver and Star 61 comes in bronze. Personally, I prefer the bronze color, I think it looks much nicer and more unique. The price difference between the two tripods is about 5 euro, with Star 61 being more expensive one. Star 61 comes with a carry case. Star 42 does not have one included. It's a good quality case with Hama logo on it and comes in handy when you want to transport your tripod somewhere with you or simply for storage. Now let's start comparing the actual differences between these two tripods. We'll start from the feet. Star 42 has rubberized feet, but they are actually not flexible, they're fixed. Star 61 on the other hand has rubberized feet that are ball jointed. This is better because it will allow you to stabilize your tripod much better on uneven surfaces. Let's talk about the legs themselves. Star 42 has thicker rectangular legs, while Star 61's legs are thinner and they're a different design. Now I'm not an engineer and this is purely a guess, but I'm thinking that this new design allows Star 61 to be thinner, however retains the same structural strengths as 42. Both tripods use similar locking mechanisms, except they unlock into different directions. 42's lock is a little bit beefier, but I don't think that makes any difference, they both hold very well. The legs on both of these tripods slide very smoothly without any wobble. As for the bridges, 42's bridges are thicker, they are thicker metal, however, they are more loose at the joints and this could be due to use. I should mention that Star 61 is brand new and 42 is used and Star 61 could uh, start to wobble as well. However, right now Star 61's joints are much tighter even though its bridges are thinner themselves. So the tripod is more stable and less wobbly than 42. Star 61 is 2 to 3 centimeters taller than Star 42 across all sections. Overall, both tripods are about the same height, so this difference should not make that much of a change in your purchasing decision, but if every centimeter matters to you, then Star 61 is taller. When fully extended, 42 is more wobbly than 61. This is due to 42's loose bridges. Star 61 comes with a hook which is quite useful for hanging extra weights or uh, just your camera equipment. Uh, 42 does not come with a hook. I feel like this is a good addition to 61 and definitely uh, useful. Height adjustment at the base is different between these two tripods. 42 uses a traditional screw and 61 uses this uh, twister ring mechanism. I personally don't mind either, they both work pretty well and hold legs uh, in place very securely. 61 though is a little bit faster because you can just twist that thing into place and uh, fix its height. 61 comes with a carry handle which I think is very handy. <laughs> 61 comes with a carry handle which I think is a good addition to it. Uh, you can use it to transport the tripod or reposition it. You can also use it to hold on to when you pan the tripod around. Uh, if you don't want the handle you can always remove it because it's fixed in with a screw and a hook around the base. So I think it's uh, definitely a good addition. 61 comes with two levels which is useful for adjusting your photos. 42 does not have levels included, but it has this notches on its uh, tilt handle which I think are a bit inaccurate because when you center it, it looks like the head is tilted a bit forward. 61 also comes with a crank, which I think is another great addition to it. It's very good for making precise adjustments in height, its motion is very smooth and it does not get in the way. Let's talk about the heads of the tripods. Both are very sturdy, 42's is smaller and more minimalistic, 
Both can do 90 degrees in different directions uh, and both can be fixed in place. I feel like 61 is better for lefties because it tilts to the left. So if you have your phone and if you're one of those monsters who films in vertical video, it will be easier for you to operate uh, your phone with uh, 61. The mounting plate lock is stiffer on 42, so the mounting plate is harder to release and it's also stiffer to fix it back in place. The mounting plate is easier and quicker to release on 61 and when it's back in its cradle it's as snug as 42's, so I prefer this one. Both mounting plates have the screw underneath for tightening, this is 42's and the handle on this one is plastic. And this is 61's, the handle on this is metallic and also spring loaded. I also don't know what this is for, but it's already annoying me and I'm gonna remove it. The mounting plates between those two tripods are not interchangeable. The handle on 42 is a little bit shorter and the way it works is also a little bit different. When you tighten it, it brings these two parts together, whereas on 61 when you tighten it, the handle screws in. Uh, 42 is also better suited for righties because it's on the right hand side and uh, 61 is better suited for lefties because the handle is on the left hand side. There are parts of 61 that are better suited for lefties such as the leg locking mechanism, the pan and tilt handle, the release of the mounting plate and the plate itself and how it tilts to the left which is better for lefties to operate cameras or phones so keep that in mind. Panning on 42 is looser when you have it loose, which I prefer. However, it has a tendency to stick, which is not very good for uh, long range video because when you make micro adjustments, uh, there is a slight bit of a jerk and you'll notice that in the video. Tilting works very well and there is no sticking here and you can tighten it as you wish. 61 is a lot stiffer to pan around than 42 even when it's completely loose but there is no sticking here on initial movement which is great however overall it's quite a bit stiffer it could be because it's new uh, I hope it uh, loosens up over time tilting is smooth and nice uh, you can fix it in place and it holds very well Overall, neither tripod is too great for video, especially long range video where you tilt and pan a lot. I suppose they will do fine for home videos, however if you want to film wildlife at a distance and track an animal and make the video look smooth, if this are not for you, I suggest you look for something else. These are better suited for stationary use, you fix them in place and then you mount your camera and you either take a video or a picture. Here's something I noticed with 61 that I'm not very fond of and it's to do with this neck height adjustment screw. You see, if you don't have it very tight, when you pan around, it moves with the head of the tripod, which I don't like because it's a bit loose here. There's a little bit of a give here, as you can see. So in order to stop that, you have to tighten it very hard and then, yes, it stops. However, it makes me question how long is this screw going to last when you have to tighten it so hard. There's a bit of a movement with 42 as well when you pan around, but not as much and you definitely don't have to tighten it as hard in order to make it stop moving. Overall though, when you have everything tight and hard, 61 is a more stable tripod, at least for now. Alright folks, we're almost at the end of the video. In the beginning I mentioned that I was gonna talk about Star 62 and Star 63 as compared to Star 61 and the main difference between them is that 62 and 63 have bigger beefier heads to support uh, heavier cameras such as DSLRs. Instead of a screw here, they have another support if you noticed in the pictures. So as far as I noticed when I was looking for a tripod for myself, and I was researching, that's the main difference between them, otherwise they are exactly the same. Uh, so in the end, which tripod do you pick? Well I'll tell you like this, if you're looking for a basic but a good quality tripod and are looking to 
save as much money as you can and you are planning to film with point and shoot cameras as well as your phone I would get 42 if you want some more features such as levels the crank the handle the carry case all of that and are willing to spare a couple of more dollars or euros or whatever your currency is and are still planning to film with your camera point and shoot camera and your mobile phone I'll get 61 if you're planning to use an entry-level DSLR such as Canon 600D I would get 62 and if you're planning to use a bigger camera with maybe bigger heavier lens I would get star 63 in the end whichever tripod you pick I think they are all very good quality especially for the price uh, by the way I also researched Amazon basics uh, tripod but in the end I settled for a Hama because it had just so many reviews just overwhelming amount of positive reviews so I went with this and I really like it so uh, this concludes this video thank you very much for watching I hope you liked it I, I hope you found it uh, useful uh, and I'll see you in the next video take it easy